These are the three apps that I built yesterday. Each app only took me about 15 minutes to do, although there was some preparation work needed prior to putting the apps together. Each of these apps are going to be monetized in a completely different way and are aimed at a different market. So now I'll show you the inside of the apps and talk about how I made them. This app is a town guide for the place where I live in the south of England. We're expecting a big influx of visitors this year because of the sailing Olympics. This app was built using Sky Builder Cloud and I'll now show you the different pages that I put on it. Firstly, I put in the Twitter feed from the local tourist office which gives up-to-date information of local activities. Living in the UK, of course, I have to put something in about the weather. So I've put in a little bit of writing here and then a link, which should work, there we go, to the main BBC weather forecast site. I also use some Flickr photos to put in photos of the beaches. You can see what a lovely place it is where I live. And then this is a link to the main tourist board which has got um, all the information that a visitor would want. Hotel accommodation, things to do, getting their business, etc. Celebrate a very British year with us. I also put in the local tweets. These are um, for what people might be doing while they're in, in the town. Some YouTube videos. Pulled some quite interesting ones there. And the local news. I'm now going to show you a completely different app which I built with SkyBuilder SMB. The previous app is designed to be given away free and monetized through advertising. This is one that I want to sell directly to the business owner. One criticism I have of SkyBuilder is that moving in between the two different systems, SkyBuilder Cloud and SkyBuilder SMB, isn't very easy and you actually have to go back to the main menu. I think they need to work on that, but it's just a minor point. This app is all about the rock choir. I'm a member of this choir, which has got 17,000 members in the UK and is actually a commercial organisation. They've got a very good website, but they don't have an app. So I decided to build them one and I'm going to make an appointment with the owner in the next couple of weeks to speak to her about selling it. The going rate for the completed app will be in the region of between £1,000 and £2,000 depending on whether they want any extra features. And in addition, I plan to charge them a maintenance fee of between 50 and 100 pounds a month. So let me show you what I've put in this so far. Now remember, this is just a prototype, which I'm going to show them and then ask them about other modules that they might like to have put in into it. Firstly, you can see that I've customized it using their colors, black and yellow. The first page will be their About Us and there'll be a link directly to their website so that people can join and become a member. Now, a lot of people take videos of their performances and put them up on YouTube. That's a big thing that all the different clubs like to do, all the different choir clubs like to do. So obviously we've got to put a YouTube feed up there. And there we are, there's just some of the latest videos that have been put up there. There's also a lot about the rock choir in the news. Here I found it quite easy to find a lot of good pulls about the different activities that the rock choir have got up to. Um, three weeks ago we did a Guinness record attempt and there's always information about the rock choir in the local news all, uh, all around the country. This is a Twitter feed. People are often tweeting about, I'm off to rock choir, come and have a free trial of the rock choir, etc. And then I pulled in some Flickr feeds. I did find some quite a few photos about the rock choir 
in Flickr, which is lucky. Now, there's a lot more potential modules that I could put in there. For instance, I could put in a link to Amazon where they have their music CDs for sale. I could put a link into where they sell their T-shirts. We could have an events page for upcoming events. There's a huge amount of different things that we can do, but I haven't bothered to put those in yet until I've actually met with them and found out what their requirements are. So this app was built using SkyBuilder SMB, but probably I would be surprised if it's this one's the quickest one I did. It probably only took me 10 minutes in total, including cutting the pictures out for the front from their um, website. So I'm really pleased with this and I'm really looking forward to my first meeting with the owner and uh, I'll let you know how that goes. The third app that I built is one that I'm actually planning to sell probably just for 69 pence, so about a dollar, something like that. This is actually a short video course on how to write a bestseller. I found this course on a PLR website. PLR stands for Private Label Rights and it's possible to find a huge range of material which you can buy just for a few dollars, which you then have the rights to use in your materials. Sometimes you can give them away for free, you can give the product away for free. In this case, the rights are that I have to sell it. So I'm going to be selling it just for 69 pence, but I think it's well worth it because the videos are quite good. When I started using SkyBuilder, I realized that the minimum number of pages that you could put in is three. So although I actually only really need one feed into the videos, I've had to write three different pages because that's the way that SkyBuilder is set up. When I bought the PLR, luckily it came with these images, so that saved me quite a lot of work. It also came with some copy about what was actually in the course, so I've been able to use that on, on, my, on this page here, just literally cut and paste it, pasted it. Here are the topics we are covering, how to properly define your audience, the real money to be made in a book, blah de blah de blah Now this is the videos here. In order to get the videos onto the screen, I've set up a separate YouTube channel and I'm uploading the videos in, the un in an unlisted format so that they'll play directly. I've only uploaded three so far and it's lucky I tested it because as it happens, they've come up in reverse order. So what I need to do is go back and load video 10 first, then video 9, then video 8 in that order and then they'll come up better on the screen. On the third tab, I've put some resources. Now this is another money-making money opportunity, and these are actually affiliate links. So that's the third app that I built. It's really quick and easy to build apps. But of course, it is necessary to try to do some research prior to building your apps. Overall, I really, really rate SkyBuilder highly. I think it's fabulous. I think it's really quick and easy to start building apps, even if you're a complete beginner. If you do have a little bit more experience like myself in building websites, even better, because you'll have a better understanding of how to link things into it and how to set up affiliate marketing programs, etc. But it's absolutely fabulous. I love it. I'm completely stopping building all of my websites now and just totally focusing on this love it bits.